2021 Atlantic hurricane season likely to be another active season, says First Outlook from Colorado State. The first outlook for the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season says that we might be in for another active year. The outlook which is championed by Dr. Phil Klotzbach of Colorado State University, says that there is about a 6 in 10 shot of another active hurricane season ahead. While it is much too early in preparation season to forecast the number of tropical storms and hurricanes, climatologists are able to look at some of the slow-motion drivers that may assist or hinder hurricane activity next summer and autumn. The two such drivers that Dr. Klotzbach says are key to figuring out how busy next season will be are both related to water, the status of El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO, and how water temperatures in the northern Atlantic change in the next year. Here's how each may play a part. 1. ENSO, will La Nina stick around? Water temperatures have cooled in the Pacific since this past summer in a phenomenon called La Nina. This cooperative oceanic atmospheric occurrence is one of the reasons that this past hurricane season was record-breakingly busy. La Nina typically allows for more favorable atmospheric conditions in the Atlantic while its counterpart pattern, El Nino, typically allows fewer tropical storms and hurricanes to form. So the question is, where will water temperatures be during the upcoming hurricane season? Most modeling suggests that the Pacific will gradually warm through this preparation season and into the first half of hurricane season. By the time hurricane season heats up, in July, August and September, jazz, located at the right of the below diagram, water temperatures should be warm enough to be considered at least neutral. The team at Colorado State University is currently hanging on this idea and that El Nino will not develop next hurricane season which would require faster warming of the Pacific than currently forecast. This could mean that one of the favorable factors that led to the crazy busy hurricane season this year may not be in play in the upcoming hurricane season, potentially lowering the number of storms. But ENSO is only one factor that determines how hurricane season will go. Let's move on to the second factor that Klotzbach thinks is fundamental to the busyness of the next hurricane season. 2. AMO in the Bermuda High for the last quarter century, water temperatures had been running naturally above average at the height of a cycle called the Atlantic Multiguttal Oscillation, or AMO. The typical period of the AMO is about 60 years, with the period length varying between as short as 40 to 50 years and as long as 70 to 80 years. This means that we typically have 25 to 35 years of above average Atlantic Basin major TC activity and similar length periods with considerably reduced amounts of major TC activity, according to CSU. Given the busyness of the last five hurricane seasons, the CSU says that the enhanced AMO is likely to show up in 2021. But there's one catch. Even during these long cycles, a year or two can turn off and that appears to be the case right now as signaled by the colder water in the North Atlantic. One key question that remains is whether or not the cycle will flip back on by next hurricane season. But why does a patch of cold water off the coast of Greenland and Ireland matter to hurricanes, which form between Africa and the United States? Klotzbach says that the enhanced AMO phase slows down the Bermuda High. The Bermuda High which is typically located between Bermuda and the Azores during hurricane season is greatly responsible for steering, or shoving, tropical waves, tropical storms and hurricanes westward from Africa toward the Caribbean and United States. The slower the Bermuda High is the slower those systems move westward and the more likely they are to develop and intensify. Weather versus climate. Of course these two elements, ENSO and the AMO, are only two of the mechanisms that can change how many storms we will see. Both of these are climate-related. Typically, in a given hurricane season we will see around 13 named tropical storms and 7 hurricanes. These two features either elevate or decrease the favorability of conditions that may lead to more or fewer named storms and hurricanes. That's where weather comes in. It won't be until next April that we can start to talk about the weather conditions that may lead to more or fewer storms. This is why CSU does not issue a forecast with numbers, that is 12 to 15 tropical storms, 5 to 8 hurricanes, just yet. We just don't know what the weather will be during hurricane season. As this report says, we're still figuring out the slower moving climate signals for next year, 